all in this quarantine situation, some worse than others, let's use this time constructively. You've got good abs. I'm gonna talk you through exactly what I do today. I'm not gonna talk you through any workouts, I'm gonna talk you through the whole process. Look at me, I'm not a big guy. For me, this is more manageable, you can keep it all year round. This is my tactics on how I stay lean, in good shape, shredded in the core, never really putting on too much fat. Number one, train core every workout. Some people might disagree, this is my experience, what's worked for me. I always dedicate at least 15 to 20 minutes, at least 15 to 20 minutes to core. Usually at the end of the workout, I've got a back catalog of exercises that I go through. I don't do the same workout all the time. Some days I'll focus on the oblique, serratus, some days I'll focus on the abs, some the lower abs. So you've got to try and mix it up. You've got to think of the core as a complete package. You can't just think of it as one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot that goes into it to get that nice taper, that nice V shape. You've got to do all of it, okay? So number one, train core every workout. I'm gonna call this one 1A. It's an extension on the last one. Core only workouts, core only workouts. So you know, you've got your training split, maybe you're doing some hard legs on day one, you're doing some upper body on day two, maybe you're doing push, pull, day one, day two, legs, day three. And then sometimes you've got that scheduled rest day, but you've got some energy. Rest is important, yes, but as long as you rest in the muscles that you've worked, if you've got some energy, go use that energy. So what I like to do sometimes is go to the gym, dedicate your time to your core. Do your core first. You know, admittedly, if I've had a big leg session and I've got 15 minutes of core in my mind, sometimes it's a bit lackluster. Sometimes you don't get the most out of it. But if you go in there, first thing you do, hanging leg raises, all your energy is gonna be focused on those hanging leg raises. You can really perfect it. During the workouts, what do you do? Mix it up, just do what feels right. If you've got loads of energy, do some high reps. If you've got that mind muscle connection, if it feels strong, because you know, some days you can feel really focused, really zoned in, some days not so much. Usually if I'm feeling really focused and zoned in, what I like to do is more manageable weight, higher reps, really burn out. If not, boost the weight up a little bit and just make sure that you're doing the job. Lower reps, but you know, you're still getting something done. So if that was one and one A, this is number two. Number two, lifestyle, lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. You can't just decide, oh, I'm gonna dedicate 45 minutes, an hour to this every day. You've gotta be on top of it all week round. So if you like to go party, if you like to party hard at the weekend, you know, that's fine occasionally, but if you like to party every single weekend, you must realize that that's gonna take its toll and it's gonna hold you down because you're always gonna be fighting against that calorie intake around how your body feels, your recovery time from your partying, getting all that out of your system. About six years ago, six years ago, 2014, was when I was at my most sort of like, you know, going out the most. And what I used to do is I used to use those weekends you know, I had a friend who lived in another city. He would come down, we would go hard for like two days. We'd go out on the Friday night. The Saturday would be feeling a bit groggy. So you wouldn't be worried about, oh, I'll have a six egg omelet. You'd be worried about, oh, I just need something to replenish my system. So in the daytime, you'd be eating not the best. And that Saturday night, back out again. You know how it goes. So I'd plan ahead. I'd think to myself, you know what? I'm gonna train extra hard beforehand. And then afterwards, I'm gonna use it as the motivation to get myself refocused again. Here's a little example for you. If I know that I'm gonna be filling up over the weekend, me personally, I empty out in advance. I don't think to myself, oh, I'll fill up and then I'll empty out. I empty out in advance. So the damage that you're doing, technically, you're not filling yourself out right to the max. You're getting to yourself to about there. Then it's easier to deal with. You gotta stay focused. So many people, they like the idea of posting some nice Instagram pictures getting a little bit of attention, looking good on the beach. But if you're not thinking about that stuff six months in advance, a year in advance, you're putting yourself in a situation where you've got to work a lot harder. For me, if I'm going on vacation, I want to look good on the beach. Yeah, of course I tighten things up and I work hard in advance, but I'm pretty much there where I need to be all year round. It's different if you've got different goals. For this type of physique, it's very attainable. Number three, and again, this sort of piggybacks off number two, but it's a whole other thing in itself. Diet, you knew this was coming, diet. 
This is all about diet. You've got to learn to eat right. I've stopped posting food pictures because it's just the same thing all the time and that might sound boring, but to me it's, it's just routine. Do I like to have a cheap meal? Of course I do, every so often, um, maybe once a week. Going back to the previous point, the lifestyle point, it's things like that that keep you focused and get you back on track. You've got to give yourself that extra little bit of motivation, even if it is deliberately doing something wrong so you can correct it. So if you're thinking of it as a diet, I'm gonna eat healthy, I'm gonna cut out the crap, then you're not gonna stay on it long because the minute that you fail, you failed. You've got that sense of failure. To me, it's not about failure or success. It's just about this is what I eat and I know what to eat in order to achieve my goals. And sometimes if I don't eat that particular food, that's fine. Because I know that over time it's gonna correct itself. Once you get into this condition, it's not just the way you look, it's the way you feel. Now I'm not preaching, again, please don't think I'm preaching that this is perfect and this is what everybody should look like. I'm just talking to those people who have maybe come across my Instagram or come across my pictures or come across these videos and thought, that's a nice physique, how do you achieve something like that? The abs of a god. No, I'm just joking. I mean, people have said that, yeah. I'm not being serious. Once you know how to do it, once you've got the mindset to do it, same mentality, always the same thinking, always the same lifestyle. Once you get there, it just becomes second nature. If I wanted to really build up my muscles, I'm gonna have to make a lot of changes just like everyone else. I'd rather start like looking like this and then have to edit things, you know, to make those changes than start looking a lot different and having to work in. Train your core all the time. You know, hit it in different ways, different angles, different techniques, experiment. You know, once you know those basic movements, you don't, it's good to have the classics nailed down, but you don't just need to stick to the same boring things all the time. You give your core extra attention. Yes, diet, nutrition is what's gonna make it visible, but once it's visible, you want everything to be looking good under there. Get it, get it primed for when you can see it. The lifestyle that you're living is gonna affect whether you can achieve things or not. Once I achieved it, I realized, you know what? That wasn't as difficult as I thought. All I had to do was be disciplined. If you don't know what a healthy diet is, go on Google. If you've got hamburgers, french fries, pizzas in the freezer, and you're debating whether or not that's good or bad, then you know maybe you should take a few steps back. Most people have a good idea of what they should be eating and what they shouldn't. The problem is a lot of people don't have the discipline to actually follow that and to stick to it. Hope this hasn't seemed pretentious or judgmental. I'm not preaching, I'm not saying that everyone should be like me. I'm trying to help the people who have reached out to me Hopefully they'll stumble across this video and hopefully some new people will too. Positivity guys, positivity. In these dark times. Like, comment, subscribe. That's what people say, isn't it? If you've stuck in, here, in there this long, let me know. I really appreciate it. Uh, Instagram, at T10 underscore fit. I've always got time to help people. So thanks very much. See you in the next one.